Next question is from Mel Bell McB32. Wow. He's names today. Yeah. <laughs> Creative. What, what causes the small muscles in your upper back and rotator cuff not to strengthen, resulting in shoulder pain? Okay, so shoulder pain can be quite common in people who get really strong with bench presses and overhead rows. Um, and it's not not necessarily because they got strong at the presses. It's because the supporting stabilizing muscles couldn't keep up with these big prime moving muscles, right? So you have muscles that stabilize your upper arm, your, your humerus bone, and they prevent it from twisting, right? So they keep it st strong and stable. And then you have these big prime movers, your pecs, your, your delts, your triceps, and those you're working directly by bench pressing and overhead pressing. And these stabilizer muscles, they are strengthening a bit, but over time, these prime movers start to get so strong that these stabilizer muscles just can't keep up. You know, it's like a, it's like putting a really, really way powerful, too much torque. It is. It's like having a car. That's, with, a good, that's uh, the way to explain it. it right totally. There. It's like having a car with a normal frame. Uh, that normally is 150 horsepower, That's and right. then you, you put, put a thousand horsepower engine in it. The Ooh. frame is going to twist. Yeah, you, you know, exactly. if you don't if you don't stabilize the frame and strengthen the stability in the car, it's literally going to twist the frame as soon as you hit the. To gas. me, that's the best yeah. analogy for this question. Is yeah. exactly what Justin just said. It's like it is literally that. Like you can't and you can't do that. By the way, if, if you don't know anything about cars, I know very little about cars. I know enough to know that. Like I can't take my Camaro. And I can't t turn it into a thousand horsepower engine just by itself. Like mm. I could do that. You need to reinforce it. But though. it would yeah. literally like it would the, it would rip apart. Mm -hmm. It would it would be so much horsepower that I wouldn't be reinforcing all the little things. You know, the suspension on it has to be able to do that. You have to be able to sway bars. You'd have to have all these things, the tires, the the rear end, like all these other things have to be uh, strong enough mm -hmm. to support that much torque. And that's exactly what's going on here is you've built so much big muscle, right? So much horsepower that you're not work focusing on all the other things that support yeah, you have it. to build up the supporting cast and that's you know it's, it's just as essential like so maintaining the actual function of your your shoulder is is crucial and the thing about the shoulder is it's it, its ability to go through so many different ranges of motion is it, it almost seems endless and so uh for people to just focus on what you're saying is mainly that sagittal plane and that overhand grip and everything is is really building and developing mm -hmm. you know this 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 insane amount amount of strength in that direction, uh, you know, it's leaving all the rest really susceptible to, uh, you know, not being able to control, uh, you know, where your bone is in, in the joint and everything else. And then boom, you're, you're open for something to snap. Yeah. And, you know, here's something else that happens as a result of it. At some point, your body refuses right. uh, to get stronger because you get to a kind of a breaking point. So I've actually... Well, injury happens. You, well, not, injury happens a lot of I time. mean, or you're just like, oh, man, I, I got my bench press up to this weight. And, well, you, and you've shared this your story of the your rotator cuff story. That's right. I remember years ago as a kid, remember when I was a kid, uh, the exercise all guys compared was bench press. That was like the the test of strength, right? So if you met another dude that lifted weights... Yeah, how much you bench? You didn't ask him how much they squatted or deadlift or what. It was always, how much can you bench? So it was like this real important exercise, right? So <laughs> I, it was like one of my focuses was I got to get a really good bench press, right? It's ego lifting. I was one of those guys. And I remember, I, I don't remember what the weight was I got stuck at, but I got stuck at a particular weight and I couldn't go up and I couldn't go up for the longest time. Couldn't figure out why I couldn't improve. And uh, I, I was reading a, a, I don't remember what magazine it was. It must have been Muscle and Fitness or something. And in the back, in the very back, they always had these little ads for supplements or a new exercise machine or whatever. And I always loved reading the little ads because I always thought I'd discover some kind of secret back there. Like, oh, <laughs> this is where I'm going to learn like something new, right? Yeah. And I remember seeing this picture. I think it was called a shoulder horn. And it was this plastic device that went over someone's neck and then they they put their arms over it and they would do what I know now to be external Little shoulder rotation. rotation. Looks like a big ass thigh master for your shoulders. Kind of, right? <laughs> and so you put it over your shoulders and you do this thing and I thought, oh, this is this is weird. This is so silly. Anyway, I talked it. There it is. It's, it's a shoulder, shoulder horn rotator cuff is the name Look of it. Look at that guy's mullet. Dude. That's He's the exact picture. Yeah. Is it really? Look at the guy's He's mullet. Obviously, it's in the early 90s. Yeah, 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 look at that. So I remember talking to, uh, I think it was a friend of mine or a trainer, and they said, oh, yeah, if you strengthen these muscles, you're going to be, your, your bench press will go up. So I didn't buy the shoulder horn. I just mimicked the exercise at the gym. I went to the gym, put my arm up on a bench 
grabbed a dumbbell, and I remember feeling so unstable. I had like a five pound dumbbell, and I rotated in, and I remember thinking, oh, my shoulder, this does not feel good. I thought, this is interesting. So I did that, and within a week, my bench press went up 10 pounds. Like within a week, because I strengthened these muscles that needed to get stronger, and they were holding me back. Um, and that's when I learned that these are important areas to strengthen. And even if you just want to get stronger in the gym, you got to work on mobility and stability because those will get in your way. They'll prevent you from well, progressing. Well, an, an easy way to do that um, is be, this is why I love like the stuff that Justin likes to talk about. Like what's neat about unconventional training is it it challenges a lot of those types of yeah. muscles. Yeah. And that's what makes it so beneficial. And that's why it should be in everybody's routine. So you don't have to go get a shoulder horn and do some direct exercise just for your rotator cuff. You can do a kettlebell swing or you can do a uh, mace bell swing mm -hmm. that incorporates that. So you get this exercise that's going to strengthen it and has other benefits too. That's what's neat need about yeah. incorporating unconventional training is you uh, as a uh, you know as a uh, byproduct you do that also that's why well, I think it so really great. should get beyond unconventional I mean if you're really serious about maintaining this this crazy amount of strength in your shoulder and you're really trying to get beyond you know your plateau and, and press it a bit further you should be thinking about loaded rotational moves if you're not then you're not building up your supporting cast properly and I, I actually respect people out there like a Chris Duffin who he came up with like the shoulder rock and so it's very similar to a mace bell one of the only guys that's like a, a freak of nature you know lifting like ungodly amounts of weight but is considering that as a component in his training to support uh this this gargantuan amount of weight yeah if you're if you're a muscular strong person at the gym and you find that when you go throw the baseball around with your kid or frisbee at the beach and you find that your shoulders sore the next day even though you're really strong and fit it's because you need to strengthen and work on this supporting cast of muscles. You can also, if you want to learn some of the stuff that we did, Adam taught a class. Uh, you go to primeprowebinar.com, and there is a specific shoulder mobility movement in there that is way better than uh, like even shoulder horn or isolated, you know, shoulder external rotation exercises. You know, the handcuff with the rotation. Handcuff or do something like that and do it right, and you'll get a lot out of that in terms of shoulder stability. And it is a free class. So you just go on there and, and watch it.